Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Brad Ferguson with Sandler Training in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's a business my wife and I have run for over 22 years. You're going to know exactly who could be performing at a higher level, producing more revenue for the company, how long it's going to take for that to happen, and what weaknesses need to be corrected in order for the skills that they're being trained on to be implemented. I find that most organizations do not take time for personal goals for their salespeople. There are company goals, there are assigned revenue goals to hit, but what are the salespeople actually going to benefit for themselves? What do they get out of it? Without strong desire and strong commitment to succeed in sales, you get a sales organization that kind of putters along. It doesn't really achieve sky-high results because the salespeople don't really have a particular purpose of why they're going to go out and do the best job that they possibly can. They haven't determined what's in it for me yet. Okay. What business do you think would benefit the most from a salesperson assessment? In 22 years, I've touched over 100 different industries. Financial services, um, home services, commercial real estate, financial investing, call centers, um, individual business owners who need help managing their team because they're responsible in the sales manager role. There really isn't a specific industry that we've found our niche in. I said in 22 years I've touched over 100 different industries and succeeded in all of them. Perfect. Through your process, what guarantees do you have that this program will work for a business? The one thing I've learned is we're not for everybody. If we find an organization that we know we can grow, if I can assure that business owner or that individual a 10 times return on their investment with me, I'm not going to take the assignment. Our initial diagnostic tool tells us exactly who we can work with, what their return will be, and how long it will take for that to be acquired, so that we can actually stack the deck to make sure they're only working with the right people. And again, if I can't assure a client a 10 to 1 return, I don't want their money. I'll refund their money back to them. That's not going to be found any place. But it's a mantra that we began 22 years ago when we started this business. That was perfect right there. All right, and last question is, what type of ongoing support do you provide to a business to ensure their success? Okay. In a business that's coming to us, there's classroom style training. There's reinforcement workshops that happen in addition to basic foundational training called Sales Mastery. Sandler today has over 10,000 hours of online learning available. And I also do on-site private coaching and training for my clients. It really depends on what that client needs, what their individual people need, how they actually take in information, and how you instruct with them. Everybody takes in information differently. Some people require one-on-one -on -one coaching, some people require ride-alongs, some people are finding a group environment. But the one thing about Sandler that's always been consistent is the ongoing reinforcement element. We're not in a one-day seminar event business. If people are after a one-day seminar, two days, to go change years for problems, they're in the wrong place. It took people years to get into the dilemma they're in. It's going to take many times years to develop ongoing changed behaviors that produce continually, continuing increasing results.